After last year's record-breaking Panto in Fairham, which sold over 20,000 tickets, the team are back and they're promising this year's Sleeping Beauty will be bigger and better than ever. The show stars former pop group Hearsay's Noel Sullivan as the Prince. I think for me Panto uh, is, is brilliant because it's probably one of the first times that children get to access the theatre um, and the interaction that's involved. Um, you don't get that anywhere else, um, so that's what I love about it the most. It's going to be fantastic. We've got Noel Sullivan from Hearsay. He's fantastic and he's a bit of a dish as well. So there's something for the mums there to keep an eye on. And all the boys and girls are going to laugh themselves silly when they see what uh, me and Chester the Jester get up to. Lots of jolly japes there and can't wait to get started. Sleeping Beauty is, of course, a classic Christmas treat. And veteran panto performer David Dobson told me what makes the Ferrum show so special. What keeps me coming back is how fresh the scripts are. Um, they're, you know, it's the stories that everyone will know. They'll know, you know, it's Sleeping Beauty, so it, they'll recognise the story of Sleeping Beauty in there. It's, they really do tell a great story with the scripts, but there's always something new and innovative and interesting, and which just makes it fresher. Really. Things change from show to show. There's always something new or something interesting or something different happens. Um, and even though this is panto number 11 for me, uh, I know, right? and I, yet I look about 22 and it's shocking. Um, even though it's panto number 11, I fully expect to come off, off, you know, off the stage after many shows going, well, that has never happened before. Um, and that's what I love about it because something new and interesting always happens. As we all know, Sleeping Beauty is the story of a princess who pricks her finger and falls asleep for a hundred years. I asked the ill-fated Belle how she deals with the challenge of not actually drifting off during her extensive on-stage slumber. Yes, it could be tricky, I think. Think. Might not be giving too much away here, but I may wake up at some point for a little dream sequence. So uh, I'll have to keep my wits about me as I can't fall asleep for too long. The show is promising music, fun, special effects and plenty of surprises. But it's no secret that they're hoping the former pop star contestant Noel Sullivan will be a good thing in pulling in the punters. The singer's done plenty of West End musicals, but Panto is a new departure for him. I wanted to know whether he missed his former life as a member of a pop band. No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't miss being in his hair anymore. Um, obviously, it was uh, 16 years ago now, and uh, I, I, I love the way my career is going. So, A resounding no, then, pure and simple. Pop life is behind him. Charlotte Beeredney in Farum for that Solent.